In today's video, I have been asked to break down Cholo Enanuevo, I hope I have pronounced that name correctly, but and how he plays basketball. He is a very powerful player, and of course, if you're looking to become a very powerful player yourself, this is definitely the video for you. Let's get down and let's check him out. Okay, so in this first clip, he's coming down, and in my opinion, he's either a guard or a forward, in my own personal opinion, because of how he is able to attack the basket and handle the basketball. From there, what we are looking at is, if you are a player who is dribbling the ball up the court and you don't have anybody who is really stepping out on you to defend you, you need to attack that rim. And of course, when he starts to attack the rim here, every single player basically moved out of his way. Now, I don't know if this is by design or not, but this was a massive mistake until the last second this player decided to come in trying to contest this shot but instead he was able to get through and he was able to reach out now I don't usually say for players to do finger rolls however they are useful in some cases like this where you have a player who is trying to block your shot and if you were to go up straight like this you may have been blocked but a nice finger roll will allow you to outstretch outreach the defender's hands and of course he is able to do that here now, really quickly, we're going to be checking out this low corner, and of course, with the way he shoots is the stereotypical left-handed player shot. A lot of left-handed players have issues trying to square up towards the basket, and they tend to then angle away from the basket, which is totally fine, but something that we do notice here is that he is able to get his shoulder and elbow in line, which is why he has a pretty accurate shot, in my own opinion. Now, he does bring the ball up his right side of his body, very similar to Lamelo Ball, Alonzo Ball, back in the earlier days so I don't know if he's going to be changing this anytime soon but the shot does tend to work for him and apparently the shot does tend to work for Lamelo Ball as well now he does tend to be very dangerous on the on the on the break now of course if no player comes up to defend him at the point he is just going to attack that rim and he's able to start his two steps early so here he is able to gather one two he's able to take off from just inside that free throw line. Now, of course, he's not able to dunk from here, but he's able to get that contact and able to finish with a basket. Now, here he's driving on his player. He's able to jump off of his left foot, and then he's able to go and do a quick two-footed jump off of both feet and of course he doesn't finish here but this was still a very strong powerful move and of course once he develops maybe a little bit more upper body strength he'd be able to finish this on a lot more players now this player did get a little bit of contact on his arms however of course we do have to say that this does happen in game and he still needs to finish with the nice thing about him is he doesn't give up on a play and he does continue through and he does of course finish at the end and he did get an and one that time so even though you may miss your layup at first always try to battle to get that ball back so you can finish and possibly get an and one again now when he plays the low post he does tend to get double teamed he is a very powerful player in that low post but he's able to find players out on the perimeter who are not guarded who can bang down shots and of course this is something that is preferable in my eyes for a player somebody who can play guard or forward or even mix it up in the low post and be able to hit players out on the perimeter and able to allow that player to of course get a wide open shot. It's also nice to watch because he's able to get that offensive rebound, he's able to battle for that offensive rebound and he doesn't kick it out. Now he could have kicked it out if this player was a bit quicker, got out to the three, he could have kicked it out for a three but it's always nice to see players these days to get that offensive rebound and to go up with their shot. So many players want to kick it out for a three and I understand they want to get the assist and a three point shot if made is a little bit higher of a, uh, of a point getter for your team but of course if you can get that offensive rebound for your team you can go up near the basket if you can get that layup if you can get some contact you're getting three points anyways like him from the free throw line I also do like it here how he tries to get contact on that player to get that and one and he didn't get the and one this time but I do like it when players will take it up strong slightly angle their body into the defense so that they can get that and one call that is something that I do prefer I see in players be a strong player now here he we're coming down on a fast break and he's able to finish with a dunk a very powerful dunk nobody's really going to be stopping that either now the moral of the video today isn't necessarily to look at a Filipino basketball player and say if he's able to make it to the NBA or the NCAA or whatever the idea behind the video today was to really look at how this player was able to play and in Weva 
And of course, see if we can ourselves play like that. And you take some of his skills and some of his moves and make our game more powerful. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.